Hey, back out again. Cold ass March morning, St. Patrick's Day. Hey, just have a new toy to show you guys. Picked up a 94 uh, Kawasaki. It's a KLX 650R. Uh, you see a few of these around. Uh, nice bike. I picked it up down in Temple, PA. Needed some work. Needed some. T definitely needed some TLC. But uh, runs very well. It was hard to start. Had a choke issue. Choke wasn't working right. Uh, needed a headlight on it. Sorted out the wiring. Wiring was all cut and lights were missing and lighting switch and all that. Fixed all that. Corrected that. But uh, this is Kawasaki's big bore off-road bike. I'll tell you what, this thing's got some torque. It's, it, it, it honks. I mean, you could. it's a stump puller, put it that way. But I picked it up, got a good buy on it. Um, like I said, needed work. Missing the side panel there over the muffler, I got one of those. Um, carburetor needed tuned. It was jetted too lean like they do all of them. Um, went from a 35 Pilot to a 50. 50 Pilot and a 150 Main. It's a Kian CVK carb. But uh, after jetting it up, it's a lot more responsive. A lot more responsive and it runs the response is better and it's snappier and there's no dead spot in it so you see you have a dead spot right off idle now that's gone but no these 650s they, they, they are torque monsters this thing pulls like pulls like a horse uh, very strong running bike fast five speed it's a nice play bike but it needed a skid plate put on it I redid the complete rear suspension, redid the rear shock, all the linkage bearings were dry, bone dry, pulled them up, and the swing arm. I could barely get the swing arm shaft out, but uh, everything needed cleaned up, re-greased, and it's all done now, so the rear suspension's good to go. And uh, lights, like I said, lights are all fixed. I didn't sink a whole lot into it, but put a couple bucks into it, but. No, I just wanted to show everybody if the 650R. You see them around. They're not, these aren't too common. You know, I don't see very many of them. Uh, they made them from 93 to 96, this being a 94. Uh, you see them around, but few and far between. I don't think they were very popular, but I think it's a great bike. I mean, as far as starting the auto decompressor, this is the easiest starting big bore. Pull the choke on, second kick every time, cold. I started it this morning, it's like 30 degrees out, and second kick started right up. Uh, XR, well, I'm telling you, I've, I've owned numerous XR 600s, they'll beat you to fucking death. Those damn things, you can kick them, the decompressor don't work half the damn time, they bite back, they kick you off the kickstarter. Oh, the, X, the XRs can, will, will beat you to damn death. But uh, these are, oh my God, they're so simple, so easy compared to them. Honda should take a lesson from these guys, but no, it's a, it's a nice bike. Runs real well, shifts smooth. Transmission's a little clunky though. Uh, it just seems to make a little noise. It's not, shifts real smooth and all, but it's just kind of noisy. But uh, it's just a gearbox noise, but eh, I can live with it. It's all right, as long as it works right. But no, I did some work to it, put it together, got it running. Um, like I said, picked it up from a dude in Temple, PA. And uh, nice, just a fun play bike. Fun big bore. But no, this is the 94 KLX 650R, man. Pretty cool bike. All right, talk to you later.